Jose Borgales will kick off. And DJ Turner, the Maryland transfer, awaiting at his own goal line. Toe meets leather, and we're underway. Turner is going to take a knee, and Pitt will start at the 25. And it catch the defense off guard a little bit. Look at the ball coming back to the big field. That's going to be Shockey Jacques Louis on the receiving and close to a first down. Looks like he's going to pick it up. Miami brings just four. Yelled over the middle. Hits Mack this time. He hangs on, and that's going to be a first down. Now the handoff to Sibley. Huge hole to run through inside of Miami territory before being dropped for another first down. First time they've gone to the run game all game long. He's a guy, he took a wildcat snap last week. Not really the guy who does it out of the pistol formation much far. Joey Yellen has gained confidence and now on third and six. Let's see if Blake Baker brings pressure. Does off the edge. Sibley, the running back, makes the catch. Can he shake enough tacklers to get to the first down marker? He does. What a great individual effort. Field after the initial contact. And this is something that Miami has done very poorly this year. One thing defensively, they've missed 50 tackles so far this season. Continued and uh, made the most of it top Sibley on that first down pickup. His first drive of the game continues on first down. Yellow now getting flustered and gets sacked. Had plenty of time. That's a coverage sack, Mark, isn't it? And on the outside, and they, that leaves them be able to rush four guys and still get home. You see the pressure on the outside and then coming up the middle could be great in terms of giving Alex Kessman enough space. Yelling pressure coming on the right side. Tries to get the screen and just overshoots his receiver. He's running back A.J. Davis out of the backfield, so it will bring up fourth down and long. And Pin Miami back, long field to cover versus Pitt defense that's been playing well. Kirk Christodoulou with the punt. Trying to get it inside the 10. It does hit inside the five, right at the four. And backs up on both this offense and defense for the Hurricanes after such a great re recruiting class last year. Cameron Harris now in the backfield. Slips one tackle. Gets the first down yards, lowers his shoulder, and picks up a couple more as he fights for yards and flanking into pressure. his left. Showing pressure. Pitt brings just four. Miami tries to trick him up with the run play, and it doesn't work. Just two yards for Cheney, and it'll bring up fourth down, and Miami will have to punt. Scoreless. Manny Diaz has a lot of confidence in his kicking game, too. Aussie Lou Headley, one of the best punters in the country, lets this one fly. Turner has to call a fair catch all the way back at his 20. Outstanding punt from Lou Headley as he flips the field. 62 yards. Pitt take it over when we come back. Hurt his ankle last week. He's still at home in Pittsburgh. So Joey Yellen, the transfer from Arizona State, taking over at that QB spot. And Vincent Davis has nowhere to go. And let's see if he goes for it all or if he just tries to get out of his own end zone for a punt. Miami showing pressure. They bring it. Vincent Davis tries to run through it. He can't do anything. Oh, Still on his back. feet as he was dropped back, but it's just going to mean he gets hammered again. Yeah, and interesting. Yeah, we talk about forward progress. As he kind of runs forward, you see him get stopped right around that 15-yard line. Then he gets thrown back about 10, 10 yards and never makes it back. So his forward progress producer of music, and he just felt like this was a great place to not only expand his physical football talents, but also his musical talents in this culture. Xavier Restrepo receiving this punt, and he gets dropped by Jacques Louis at the 40 immediately, and a flag came out, several flags right at the spot. King looking to pass, now has room to run if he chooses to do so, and does, and gets close to the first down. Once Miami starts rattling off some first downs, they'll move quicker and quicker. King now faking the draw, going to his running back out of the backfield. Harris is going to walk into the end zone. Great, fantastic play call. They saw Pitt line up in zone. They knew the eyes would be soft. Good play pit fake by De'Eric King. Really good play. Watch as number 36, Chase Pine, gets sucked up on the play action play. And the running back, Cameron Harris, is able to leak out of the backfield. Good sell by De'Eric King right over top. That's a wide open touchdown play. Quarterback Davis Bevel now taking over for Joey Yellen on this third possession. Davis working for that first down marker. He'll get it. Third and 21 for Davis Bevel. 
gives it to his tailback. That's A.J. Davis, picks up what he can, but nowhere near the first down. And need to, you need to take some shots on third down. Chris Dulu to punt away again. Restrepo back to receive the kick. This is another fine punt. Restrepo with a fair catch at his own 11. Now Rhett Lashley wants to be on third and 10 from his own 11. Harrison motion out of the backfield. King will try and do it himself. Can't spin out of a tackle. As that pit front did an outstanding job. Rashad Weaver and his teammates. It's just really interesting the philosophy that these offenses are taking when they're usually so potent. Headley gets some blocked. pressure. Yeah, it's gets a blunt. Turner takes it on the hop. Gets about five or six on the return to midfield. Let's see if Miami brings pressure. They do off the edge. Yellen runs out of time, but gets it all out of all. Oh, got it out of his hands. And Jared Wayne is 6'3. That's the last two pass plays. Wayne just had it on his fingertips and couldn't bring it in. It's going to set up another punt. Should be the final play of this first quarter. Restrepo lets this one bounce. And these punters are having great games today on both teams. Chris Dulu gets it inside the five. Coaches are very high on it. Lashley said this guy could be in the rafters one day. Him along with Jalen Knighton. They're both fantastic young freshmen. Shady gets the first down and more. Second down and ten. Weaver putting pressure on King. Releases it though now. Players go down and the flags do Interesting. come Interesting. I was wondering if this was going to be uh, uncatchable, Mark. This is really the longest drive Miami's had. They, on that touchdown scoring, it was only three plays. Harris tries to sidestep a defender. Can't do it. Really nice job on the tackle by John Morgan. Third down and ten for De'Ara King. Pitts coming with pressure. Jones gets to him, and King just squirts out of it. Now he's in trouble. Gets rid of the football. And it's just a floater out of bounds, and he took a shot. A lot of those big defensive linemen. Headley an opportunity to again flip the field in Miami's favor. Fair catch by Turner, and he makes it at the 14 when Alabama and Georgia meet. So that's going to be interesting. This is Yellen. Flushed out of the pocket, he'll just throw it away. Can't find an open receiver. Again, if you're just joining us, Kenny Pickett, the ankle injury he suffered last week, out for Pitt. And A.J. Davis, the senior from Lakeland, Florida, getting an opportunity now as he's close to 100% healthy, but doesn't have very far to go that time. Corey Flagg, another true freshman on this Miami defense. ...about what he could do, and he was the guy who came in for B.J. BJ Jennings, who got that penalty. Can Addison do something after the catch? He can, but not enough. We saw Mack in motion. Yellen now flushed. Gets rid of the football and a good job to get rid of it. Although Vincent Davis couldn't make the grab. Fifth punt of the game. And it's going to be a fake. A fake for the Panthers and a beautiful defensive play. Prevents Pitt from being able to convert. Brandon Hill came up and made a gorgeous stop. On the runner, Pitt pulls out all the stops trying to fake it, but it's stopped by true freshman Isaiah Dunson. Miami ball when we come back. This time the pile moves just enough. They'll move the chains for the Canes. A little sub on the field in that quick exchange. New defensive players. Miami moving quickly and picking up a first down. King with the give up the middle. Good read. Harris almost broke it into the end zone, but it'll be first and goal for the Canes. It's a constant for them. Now they're able to sub out running backs, get a fresh guy in. That fresh back is Knight. King fakes it to him, and he gets dumped immediately. Hid his disguise right behind the line of scrimmage and then came off the edge. Didn't even bite on the run fake. He saw Deer King's eyes downfield. And whenever you see a quarterback's eyes up, you know he's going to pull the ball. Great sack by Phil Campbell. We have a player down on the field for Pitt, looks like. Right around the two-yard line, it looks like. 
Harris back at the tailback spot. King will look to throw. Pressure coming up the middle. He escapes it initially. Gets dumped, but that's going to be a face mask. That'll be a first down half the distance, Mark. So a third and goal becomes a first and goal now from the four. Harris bounces it outside. Can't escape the mittens of Rashad Weaver. We've already seen him with those meat hooks knock down a couple of passes, Mark. And now he got a handful of Harris' jersey. Wouldn't let go. Another one of those South Florida products on Pitt's team. He's from Fort Lauderdale. Second and goal. King out to his tight end. Mallory stretches for the goal line and finds it. Will Mallory, 85. We're used to seeing a lot of number nine, Brevin Jordan, but Will Mallory, as we talked about in the open every single week, good hesitation by number 85, Will Mallory, found his way over to the end zone. Really good job adjusting by Miami on defense. Miami brings just four. Yellen finds the open receiver. That's Addison who can make a lot happen, and he does, getting the ball near midfield, a first down for the Panthers. Their leading receiver on the year was banged up last week and the week before a little bit, but he's back healthy now, and Blake Baker, the defensive coordinator for Miami, said, I need to know where number three is on the field at all times, and they have to do a better job of tackling him in space. Fresh set of downs for Yellen. Has time. And has a receiver, it's Addison again for another first down. Yeah, hopefully for him, it leads into the second half. Yellen now he finds a wide open receiver down the left side. That's Daniel Moraga. Only his second catch of the year at that tight end spot, Mark. 6'6 six, six guy is out, but watch how he sneaks off the line of scrimmage. Pitt is known for having tackle over situations where they just hide that. Good job finding the open receiver by yelling on that last play. Now trying to run it in the red zone and nothing doing. Vincent Davis couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage as he was brought down by a couple of Canes, including Quincy Roche. And there's Jared Harrison Hunt again. A quick completion or a run play would be fantastic for Pitt offensively. Yellen has three completions, 54 yards on this drive. Now he's got pressure on the edge, trying to get it in the corner. It's intercepted, but out of bounds. Ooh, Just hung that one up, and boy, Bubba Bolden came down with it. His teammates are pointing to the turf coming up in the grass. Let's see if they review this, Mark. Looking for Davis again in the backfield. He's brought down, and the ball is loose. Ball is loose at the 15. And Pitt will retain possession, but it'll bring up fourth down. Joey Young looks for his first target. Really good coverage on the back end, causing him to just a little hesitation. And that's all Jordan Miller needed as he worked through the pocket. And that might have been Jared Harris. Yeah, was Harris, Hunt, actually. Hunt, yeah. This one from 33 yards to put the Panthers on the board. And he gets it inside that upright. So Pitt finally strikes at the 243 mark here in the second quarter. Keep throwing the ball, keep throwing the ball like a free throw shooter. The more you get opportunities, the more you'll make. And there's one right there on top over the middle. Receiver just couldn't keep his feet. It's Keyshawn Smith, the true freshman. King quickly. That one's up for grabs and it's intercepted. That's Paris Ford. 15. Still on his feet down to the 12. Huge play for the senior, or the junior rather, from Pittsburgh. Maybe none bigger than this. And watch the ball as it's tipped at the line of scrimmage. It floats up and he's able to attack it from downhill and little move. He got tackled by the quarterback, which is always a big no-no. But, ooh, little windmill dunk. Blake Zubovic, who is a tight end officially at 84, is really a tackle wearing number 84. Davis can't even get back to the line of scrimmage. Hitting safety might have gotten in there first as he takes on the fullback low and Quincy Roche off the backside. One, there, there is one problem when everybody knows you're running everybody knows you're running and they're just going to load up the box this one will be from 24 yards he hit from 33 just moments ago this one down and through so the Paris Ford interception leads to three more for the Pitt Panthers and they close the gap now to eight points with just eight seconds left in this first half punt return and then on the interception by D.R. King have led to two scores. Look, King avoiding the rush on the first play of this second half and picks up a first down. Pitt brings five. 
King over the top and just overshoots his tight end. Will Mallory, it'll bring up fourth down. Yeah, there's a flag on the play, though. They could get him for holding. Defensive holding on the on the defensive back. Did, did Smith not sell that enough? Quick toss. Plenty of room to run. It's Mark Pope. Gives a first down to Miami. Stood the arms up in the air like, what? Are you not going to throw the flag? We'll get used to it. Pressure on the edge. King steps up, gets away from it, has a receiver wide open. That's Harley. Spins his way into the end zone. Good job by De'Ara King to find the bust in coverage. And good job, De'Ara King, stepping up, finding space in the pocket, and just a wide open receiver for Mike Harley all the way down for a touchdown for the Hurricanes. Drive. He said he'd like to see the receivers pick it up, and he said the biggest thing we've got to eliminate the sacks. Yellow now can run if he chooses to. Instead, he throws downfield, has his receiver open. That's Addison, 20, brought down near the 10-yard line. He's getting some help from his freshman from Frederick, Maryland. Being sacks, well, really good, clean pocket by this pit front. No one within three yards of Joey Yellen as he steps up. Really good touch pass right over Bubba Bolden. Bringing in Todd Sibley Jr., bigger back now, behind Yellen, under center. Turner trying to get outside. That play was read perfectly by the defense, and Quincy Roche gave him no shot. Well, are both really good at diagnosing this play. I mean, that's hard to do. Right off the line of scrimmage, you see your offensive tackle blocked down. Yeah, 15 yards. Free play. See if they throw the flag. Yelling over the middle, tipped up in the air, incomplete. Thirty-six yards for Alice Kessman. He is now the all-time leader in pit history and field goals made. This is the number two rush defense in the nation that Pitt has, only allowing fifty-two yards a game already. Seventy-nine in this one. And yeah, this one, Shaney tried to. Run it right into the teeth of that defense and get stuff for nothing. Damari Mathis, they've been without him all year. Defensive back, Keyshawn Camp, a defensive tackle. Wendell Davis, a linebacker. They're missing a lot of players due to injury. King's going to go down. DeAndre Jules with the sack. Two big plays for number 90 in Pitt. Yeah, number six, John Morgan was the first one to get there. Harley in motion. King to pass, Pitt brings just four, and it's intercepted. That's Williams, will he get to the end zone? Knocked out of bounds at the one yard line by De'Ara King. They again come up with another big play. Watch the linebackers drop out in the middle of the field be taken away by the other backer. It really allows for a, a, a cover eight sort of look with that rolled up cornerback and good job in the disguise. Good flat feet and zone turn by Marquez Williams coming back. Huge interception. And now, Chris, we have ourselves a game again. It finally punch it in. The fake to Sibley. The toss in the end zone. Easy pitch and catch. Daniel Moraga finally hits pay dirt for the Panthers. Well, enough of this pounding our head against the wall from the one-yard line. We're going to play fake. Miami sells out against the run and really good poise under pressure by Joey Yellen, who is turned starter Daniel Moraga to pull this one in for six. Second down and 10 for King. Gives it to Harris. Just nowhere to go. He'll lose a yard as that swarming defense. Drops him for a loss. And you know that a lot of people are watching not just your family, but the friends you grew up with and former coaches you worked with. There's a good look at Weaver, the senior from Fort Lauderdale, coming up to make the tackle. That time on a nice play to drop Jalen Knighton. The Panthers preventing him from picking up a first down. Let's check the flag. Puts a big leg into it. This is going to be another good punt. Fair catch made by D.J. Turner. Pitt with the ball again. Ten straight points for the Panthers. Here's Four again. yards for Pitt offensively today. Here's again, checking again, checking the protection. Back to pass. Nice pitch and catch to 
Shockey Jacques Louis. Miami brings just four. Yell and steps up. Now he's going to get sacked. Ball comes free, too. Only sent four on the pressure. But Roche and Phillips collapsed that pocket so well, and it looks like Phillips was the one to maybe get his hand on the ball, but Roche comes up with it. Those two guys coming off the edge is a problem anytime a quarterback has to pull the ball down. Jade Silvera looks like he might have rolled up on his ankle. They've gotten bogged down. But they've been able to put the ball in the end zone when they have these 40, 50 yard drives, but this is not going to start very well for the Canes. Another sack. And DeAndre Jules is involved. Their teamers on this pit defense making big plays. And watch on the left side. I mean, that is John Morgan, number six, absolutely destroying John Campbell. A lot of guys making impact defensively for Pitt. Dayon Hayes is one of them, true freshman. Over the top again, the tight end. Mallory will have an easy lane into the end zone. Well, if it's working, might as well go back for it. We saw the same exact play from Miami on the first touchdown. It was Cameron Harris who snuck out of the backfield. This time, it was their big tight end, Will Mallory. Uh, well, he's going to play. Well, look at him in the backfield. He just sneaks out on a vertical route. You call that a pipe play when it's a running back? We called it yogurt when I was playing for New York Giants where it's just a why go. Why is the tight end? Why go right down the middle of the field? Yogurt for six points. And this would be just what the doctor ordered for Miami to get that defense off the field here with a three and out. Miami brings four. Addison breaks a tackle and picks up a first down. You can see how slippery he is in the open field. Nine penalties for 84 yards now in the game for Pitt. First and 20. Yellen has time downfield, has a receiver open. Wayne makes the catch. Close to midfield. The throw floated in the air a little bit too long, but good thing for him. His wide receiver, Jared Wayne, just sat down in the zone coverage. Six yard gain and another first down. Yelling down the sideline, looking for Addison. And now the late flag comes in. <laughs> you saw Narduzzi politicking a little bit there. It's like tackling through somebody, isn't it? Yes. Second and ten. Yelling with time. Outside of the pocket, hits his receiver. That's Shockey Jacques Louis. He's having a good game. Yeah, it Shockey is. Shockey Jacques Louis is from Fort Myers. Yep, and, and Jacques Louis has got a fantastic name, but I think Joey Yellen had a fantastic pocket presence on that. You give Alex Kessman a shot at three points. Empty backfield for Pitt. Miami brings four, a little screen underneath. Nice play by the Panthers and to Sear Mack. Yards on this one. Inside that left upright. Four for four is the senior. All-time passing number at Pitt, which is the second number. Harris, nowhere going with this defensive pit. It's just. This is again Kalija Kansi, number eight. Another. This is a second string defensive tackle. Pitt bringing pressure again. King sidesteps it. Oh, now makes a fantastic move, but just could not keep his feet. Really good, bringing pressure off the edge. Phil Campbell, the linebacker, Rashad Weaver coming off, and there's number eight again, Kalaja Kansi, making his presence felt a lot in this game. Loving this one. So on fourth down, Miami forced to punt. Pitt bringing some pressure, but Headley gets it off, and again, forcing another fair catch. Third and 10 for Yelling. Delayed blitz, picked up, Yellen hits his receiver, and it's dropped. Had it right in Shockey Jacques Louis' hands. We'll still hear from him. Xavier Restrepo back to receive this kick. Chris Dulu. And Restrepo comes up to make the catch. He was almost kick-catch interference. No flag, though, and Miami takes over. His treatment, 
and Mr. Reed, Coach Reed, comes to you and says, why did you miss treatment? You got no excuses back to number 20. That guy is uh, demands respect from the players, and they do respect him. Will Pitt bring pressure? They bring just four. King's going to look to do it himself on the ground and won't even come close. Servasier Dennis on the stop, and Miami will once again be forced to punt. They're playing a field position defensive battle, and so far it's worked. Lou Headley to kick again. Another great kick. My goodness, Turner all the way back to his 15. Gets about six yards on the return. We do have a flag. 58 yards on the punt. Trying to once again stifle this pit team. They haven't been able to run the football, but Joey Yellen's been putting in yeoman's work, filling in for Kenny Pickett today at that quarterback spot to keep Pitt in the game. Back to pass again. Flutters it over the middle and is successful. Mark, we've seen him flutter some passes over the middle, but he, he's finding his receivers. Miami looking like they might bring pressure. They do. Picked up initially. Yellen and his receiver just... Couldn't quite get together. Tipped in again the intended receiver on that play. Fourth down. Xavier Restrepo will be back to receive this Kirk Christodoulou kick. Restrepo at his own 15. Calls for the fair catch. And makes it. Yeah, averaging 31 yards per play on scoring plays. And those are, that signals busted coverage for me from Pitt defensively. Look at King. What a gorgeous move. Yeah, great move, great spin move by Derek King. See number 12, Paris Ford, so involved in stopping the run. Harris tried to spin out of difficulty, initially was able to do it, but then DeMar Hamlin was there to clean it up for a loss. Harris picks up the blitz. King hits his receiver. That might be the best pass we've seen him throw all day. Hits Pope for the first down. Pressure was coming, but he had a clean pocket. Great job of protecting the quarterback in his throwing lane. Good confident throw to pick up that first down. Miami hurries up to try to get this one yard at third and one. Harris will tiptoe his way for the first down. Don Chaney, the freshman back now in the backfield. He'll get the carry and won't go anywhere. Trying to look to see where the safety's down, where to run the football. King swings it out to Harley. Has room. Picks up the first. Clock, five minutes left to go. Pitt desperately needs a stop on defense. And they'll get it. Harris has nowhere to run, and this will bring up fourth down. Perfect on the season, seven for seven. You see Pitt on balance line as they try to get to it, and they cannot. Borregales converts the 37-yard attempt. He remains perfect on the year, and Miami increases their lead. Now up 14 with 4.13 remaining. Pittsburgh's willing to take offensively. We're well, going to have to take some risks now. Down two scores. Addison, that's his go-to guy. Makes the catch, another first down. Miami brings pressure, yelling down the sideline. Almost an outstanding catch by Addison. I do not see number three, Jordan Addison, on the field, which is a little bit of a surprise. Again, Miami brings pressure up the middle. Yellen gets rid of it, but incomplete. And still winless teams in the ACC. Or, I mean, sorry, lossless teams in the ACC. Yeah. Burns just lowers that shoulder and powers his way for another first down. But you could have two one-loss teams, and then the, the winner of that could decide who's number two in the ACC. The state game is going to be fun to watch. I mean, two running backs that are all world for UNC. Florida State thinks they found something with the quarterback, and so you have two teams that are on the rise right now. All knew it. They didn't perform the way they needed to last week, despite the fact that Clemson is the best team in the conference. There's no arguing that. At the end of the day, the firepower for Miami, just they ran too many plays, and Pitt wasn't able to stop them on every single one of them. 
Final buzzer sounds. De'Ari King may not have had the best game of his career from a statistical standpoint.